Nine three-year-old facing Colts are lined up. It's the fourth and final elimination tonight for the 25th anniversary Meadowlands Pace. Purse of $50,000, race 10. Here they come. And they're off, and uh, roughly get it there was Card Street Partners. He's off stride on the attack, is firing out from the far side. Exquisite Art with early speed and running start. Gets off to a good start, moves up third as they round the first turn. It's Bouchard and on the attack. On the attack, Exquisite Art pacing on there. Off stride went Bagel Beach Boy. A wide gap of seven lengths now to Southwind Balsam fourth. Two more lengths to Life Sizzles fifth. Three lengths to LCB, he is six now. Way back, Hawaiian Cowboy off stride. Bagel Beach Boy still off stride. Card Street Partners 26 and one. Down the back stretch, Exquisite Art Miller cleared with that one on the attack is right on the helmet. And Bouchard just can't keep him in the pocket there and will retake command. Running start is third. Wide gap of seven lengths to Southwind Balsam. Closing the gap fourth. Three lengths to Life Sizzles fifth. It's LCB, he's still six past the half. Hawaiian Cowboy is seventh. And then it's far, far back to Bagel Beach Boy. And way back to Card Street Partners, the half was 52 and three fifths. Unheard of half mile time on the attack is a dead runaway here. He's leading it by two and a half lengths. It's on the attack with Exquisite Art in second as they get set to pass the half, or the three quarters rather, and running start Edges off the cones now as they try to close in. LCB has made up a ton of ground. Southwind Balsam between horses trying to rally into it. Three quarters and 121 in the stretch now. On the attack will try to hold on. On the attack and Bouchard is asking for more. Closing in is Southwind Balsam on the outside. Here comes LCB. He was far back, but he catapults off the quick half. LCB and Luke Willett now starting to draw a clear off stride. Goes Southwind Balsam. So it's LCB on the attack, walks under the line second, off stride Southwind Balsam. Closing late was Hawaiian Cowboy, 151 and 2. Then you come off that 150 uh, super effort at Woodbine. What were you thinking coming into the race? Well, you know, there was quite a bit of speed in the race, and uh, we all looked at it and talked about it, and we thought we'd race him from behind, which was really the only, the only way to go. Uh, in hindsight, looking at the 150, same time as Better's Delight in Canada, uh, would you, do you wish you went up there and maybe qualified him and went after him for that million one? Well, you know, uh, if we would have had the same racing luck as we did in, in uh, Constellation, you know, I wish I did. 52 and three and a half, where were you at that point? Uh, tonight, I was probably away, I would say, uh, at least uh, eight lengths off the lead. Now, were you confident coming home? Did you know you had the horses uh, corralled? Yes, well, my horse was full with pace, and I also knew that the horses... Uh, on the lead, near the lead, were coming back to me. It's not as much as I was pacing towards them. They were also coming back to me, and he was still full of pace. LCB, can he go with the uh, real desires and better delights of the world? Well, I guess we're going to find out next week. Okay, Luca, uh, Lou Damiano, we're, we're going to assume you're going to make the luncheon this week because you got three in the final by my calculations. Cardmaster, Klingon, and LCB. What about that? Oh, maybe I'll eat for three people that way. Well, good, but what about maybe, you know, winning or finishing second and final? You have, con you have contenders, but it's a pretty good group this, this year, wouldn't you agree? Yeah, post position is going to be important. Uh, up in Canada, I actually had a couple in the final also, the million-dollar race, but we got unlucky with the post positions. We got saddled with like the six, eight, and nine, but maybe this will change here. We had a barn change in LCB early in the year, and uh, he slowly rounded into the form I think you believed he had early last year, and uh, I know coming into this three-year-old season, you believed he was a good one. Well, he showed us that last year. He was second to Real Desire twice in Lexington, and he showed a lot of pace, and he had outside posts again, and he was full of pace at the wire. So we, we really know he had a lot of ability, and uh, we really like him. And you think he finished with enough to maybe uh, give them a, t a good, pretty good tussle next week? Yes. Okay, Lou Damiano, 3 in. The next week, the final, a million dollars plus. The Meadowlands Pace field is now set as Cardmaster Hanover and Klingon Hanover are the two fastest thirds. The 10-horse field is ready to go.